Hello, I'm David Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Progress in Michigan's fight against COVID-19 is allowing the state to roll back some restrictions. Places like movie theaters, bowling alleys, and casinos can reopen Monday with very limited capacity, and they cannot serve food or drinks. School districts also have the option to reopen high schools for in-person learning. But indoor dining at restaurants and bars remains off the table, officials say, because of the risks tied to taking off your mask inside. The governor is also urging people not to take part in holiday gatherings. The Michigan Senate approved a new funding bill with relief for those hurt by COVID-19. It adds up to $465 million to address needs related to the pandemic. That includes $65 million to help small businesses and $45 million for workers who lost jobs. There's also more than $51 million to help with the distribution of COVID-19 vaccines. The state house is expected to take up the bill on Monday. A violent tragedy under investigation in Detroit. Two women were shot and killed at a house on Lance Street. Police tell us there was some sort of altercation just before an 18-year-old woman and a 21-year-old woman were killed. One of the victims leaves behind a six-year-old son. Police are looking for an 18-year-old suspect who they say frequents the home. An Oakland County Sheriff's deputy facing criminal charges over an arrest in Rochester Hills. Deputy Kevin McNally, a 27-year veteran of the force, is accused of assault and misconduct in office. He allegedly slapped a handcuffed woman across the face and became increasingly aggressive after she kicked him in the groin. The sheriff says there was absolutely nothing acceptable about the actions by the, quote, soon-to-be former deputy. Here's meteorologist Mike Taylor now with a check of the 7 First Alert forecast. Hey, thanks, Dave. We'll stay cloudy for tonight. Into tomorrow morning, numbers are going to be in the mid to upper 20s, so a chilly start, but we're expecting rain and a mix of snow to get things started for the weekend.